Islanders finally seen the light? Are they going to the dark side? Are they adding grit and sandpaper? You'd think they might be looking at some of the 2012 free agent signings. Now we're into the depth range of the signing period, so you've seen the addition of players like Nathan McIver, who has uh, 36 games of NHL experience, but he's really been added for the AHL squad. But you throw McIver in along with the extension of Blair Riley, who came on to the uh, Sound Tigers late last year, plus Mike Halmo, and of course from the NHL free agent pool, Matt Karkner and Eric Bolton. Put it all together and you start to see them emphasizing toughness a little bit more and a little bit more than the traditional one-dimensional goons that they've had, such as Trevor Gillies. All the best to Gillies, but we knew what he brought and they probably need guys who can play a little bit more of a regular shift. If it is true that this is a philosophical shift for the Isles, there's probably good reason for it. While they're not exactly a gooned up squad and probably never will be, suddenly the Isles have a lot of precious gems from the prospect pool who are now entering the pro, lane, pro ranks. They had Brock Nelson, of course, Kirill Kabanov, Jan Persson, uh, and to go along with the defensemen who made their debuts last year in Aaron Ness, Matt Donovan, and Calvin DeHaan. Basically, you have a lot of uh, important pieces who are coming up through the ranks, and the last thing the Islanders need is for them to be intimidated, pushed around, or injured by one-dimensional goons, especially in the AHL, who are just trying to send a message to the young Johnny-come-latelys. We'll see how it all works out. I'm sure it will show up in a few more PIMs, especially at the AHL level. And of course, it'll probably make a lot of Islanders fans who have been calling for this sort of thing much happier than they were in the past. I'm Dominic Gansky with LighthouseHockey.com, and this has been another update on SB Nation's YouTube channel. You can subscribe at that button below or follow us at, on Twitter at LHHockey.